This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. Pete and Sebastian Show. We are back. What is up, Sebastian Maniscalco? Let's do it. Let's have some fun. What's going on, brother? Happy holidays. What's up? What's up? Happy holidays. Uh, we are, what, December 21st here on a Monday. Hot off the press. I want to get into this because it's something I just watched last night. All right. I like, I like to start with things that are fresh fresh on my mind. On 60 Minutes last night. Wow. We're going down. Yeah, they had uh, kind of an expose on how the uh, the vaccine for the coronavirus was developed between these two companies, Biotech and Pfizer, right? All right. All right. And uh, they started interviewing one of the lead doctors, and uh, as soon as she starts talking, she's got an accent. She's German, right? Now... I don't know about you, but when I hear a germ like Germans are involved in something, right, right, I'm like, I'm taking it, right, like, like it gave me so much more confidence to take the vaccine, really, after after hearing this woman talk in this German accent, because the the Germans they they, they do every everything is precise precision you know That's they, true. They, they make things they make like their cars are well made i just like german ingenuity right, right? and they're cold they're cold too so like if you really honestly need to kill a few human beings to find out if the shit really works the germans <laughs> would do that they would do that <laughs> That's that, you know, Hans and Franz had to fucking take a hit, but trust us, this shit's tight, right? I hear you. <laughs> so, so, so then they bring on the Pfizer CEO, mm -hmm. and this guy starts talking. He's got an accent. I think this guy's from Germany, too, and I'm like, oh, he's, he's great. Both of them talking. I'm like, where's this vaccine? I got to get into it, right? What, they got you excited about it by hearing them talk about it. Yeah. Uh, kind of like uh, someone going on Letterman talking about their movie coming out, right? <laughs> <laughs> got to see it, right? See yeah, it. that's it, man. Everybody's plugging everything. They re Bro, we live in a world where they, they're on TV plugging the cure. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, this. All right, anyway, I mean, I hear you, but this made you even want to take it more. I'm dying to take it. I don't even know where it is, bro. Okay, they got another group. So basically, what they were saying was this: this biotech company in uh, in Germany has this new technology or technology that they've been working on for you know quite some time about this RNA. Uh, New vaccine, a, a way to develop a new vaccine. I don't know the science behind it. As soon as I start talking about that, I tune out. Right. Because yeah. uh, my, my brain just can't follow science. I, I was never good in science class. Wow. I don't know. About, about hated, you, but it. hated it. <laughs> hated it. Beakers and, and, and any of that shit, forget it. Periodic table. <laughs> even, even even dissecting the frog. Why? Get the fuck. What are we doing with any oh, of this man. shit? I'm not going to utilize any of this shit the minute I'm out that door frame. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah. With right. the formaldehyde and the oh. scissors cutting the stomach open. And then remember you, you remember you had to do those little flaps on the stomach so then you could go inside and look at the organs? Forget it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, I mean, I, I yeah. stink. I, I, I mean, I, listen, being Italian, I just couldn't wait for lunch. Oh, well, God. Yeah. Well, you know, oh. what you have, you had science and then lab, and then every other time it was science and gym. I would roll over in the morning and go, God, thank God it's gym today. Right? Just roll out a ball, let me kick it. Fuck that lab shit. <laughs> <laughs> so they got this biotech company uh, that is a husband and wife uh, are, are the CEOs of this company. And they paired with Pfizer and they made this vaccine. Now, wow. All right. The, the German woman, the lead doctor, is telling the story. Um, she said, you know, I was on, I was on vacation, 
And uh, I got a call from the, the CEO of Pfizer, and he said that the um, results came back. It's 95% effective, right? Right. Because uh, I guess they were doing the, the testing. Now, I'm thinking vacation. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's a, that's a <laughs> 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 that's even if you were that's what you say <laughs> this is this goes back to last cast about going on lunch and break right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm sorry there's got to be a mandate nobody goes on vacation right. until we open the countries back up right i, I uh, what the hell are we doing on vacation? I, I, you know, is it like one of these things where all it's a waiting game now? So we may as well give dip a toe at the beach. I mean, I, I, you know, like, is there nothing left to do except sit here for two weeks? Let's try and take our mind off it. Wait till we get the results. That's what know. I'm. I'm saying may, maybe it was a waiting, but but whatever. Man, yeah, this, those two weeks you're waiting, you should be developing a backup, assuming what you sent out is shit, right? I'm with you. Fucking vacations? We're not even going out to dinner and you're fucking getting a tan? I tell you, that's the German in them, bro. That's the German. They know how to call compartmentalize, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, they do. They do. They put that aside. Now we go have now we go drink. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Fucking nuts. By the way, husband, wife, can you imagine being at that dinner table? After past the salt, you and I would be out, right? We wouldn't understand the word. <laughs> husband and wife inventing the cure for COVID. Can you imagine that dinner table? Holy shit, just, just intelligence oozing. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like if if you, if you developed a vaccine, right? Yeah. And let's say um, you and your wife want to go out to dinner, and let's say you're in uh, France. <laughs> call up, you call up a restaurant, and you go, "Let's say eight, eight o'clock reservation for two, right?" Sorry, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't have any, no availability tonight. Right, right. Can you go? I developed the <laughs> vaccine. Do you know? Do you know why you have no availability tonight? Because I saved everybody eating in your fucking restaurant. <laughs> right? I mean, shit. How tempting would it be just to save that shit for 50 of you and your closest friends? And go, listen, guys, within 10 years, we're going to have the run of the mill of the whole fucking country. Right? Everyone's going to be dead but us 10. Don't tell anyone I gave you the shit. <laughs> oh, God. So, that's crazy. So... Another portion of the video, you know how they have those walk-in talks on 60 Minutes where the, the interviewer is walking with the subject and they're walking and whatnot? Yeah. Now, yeah. now the doctor, the lead doctor, is walking with the interviewer, and they're both wearing masks. So I tap on, I go, why is she wearing a mask? Like, if she's right. got the vaccine, first of all, if, if your lead doctor on the vaccine... You should have this shit running through your veins already, right? I, I I compare it to like making cookies, right? You're making cookies, you're sampling the dough as you're making them, right? Isn't I, it with the vaccine? Couldn't agree. You're making, a, you're making a vaccine, don't you just go and then just keep going? <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you be, as you would say, even if you were on the beach, wouldn't you have that vaccine in your little igloo cooler? And once you get the call, it's 94% effective. You and your husband are pulling out and just doing a pop right there on the beach, <laughs> celebrating, right? Good to know. Let's do it. Like, you would be first. You'd be walking... I guess, isn't it that, though, that, like, they could take it and they are good, but they could still give it to the interviewer who hasn't had it yet? If I develop the vaccine and I'm doing an interview, I'm bringing vials for the entire staff. I love it. I love your style, bro, right? I'm with you. Shit, this shit should be flying all over. I should be getting a call from Dwayne Reed right now going, we just got another load. Come on down. I would just do it like that, free for all. Just send your shit out, right? Yeah. Uh, every location, load up, people will come. 
That's it. 150 million doses go out. And this is like, it's like Christmas. Yeah. It's like, uh, come and get it. Uh, start, you know, I, I, Just show I ID. Know. You show ID. <laughs> you get it. You come back in two weeks. You get it again. And that's it, man. <laughs> Just load it up all over. Black, white, purple, old, young. Right. Uh, oh, they sh Do you think when they're making it in the factory, like they, they ring a bell and everyone making the medicine goes home for the night? Like, you know what I'm saying? There are car companies that keep making Toyotas till the fucking all night long. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, are they shutting down the factory? Go, we'll, we'll start making more doses at eight. What the fuck? This should just be shits. Give the workers cocaine to keep them up. Right? I mean, fuck. We should be like, we got enough for America. We'll ship it over now to Taiwan. You're on deck, England. What the fuck? This is America, right? We make batteries quicker than this shit. <laughs> Fucking embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, I'm watching all this, right? And then I got to, I mean, and then they have the, then they have the American doctor come in. Yeah, yeah. Right away. Confidence went and fuck in the toilet. Just, oh, just, shit. This guy came out. I'm like, oh, no. Give me the foreigners here. I, I just need to hear the foreigners speak. Right. Give me the Germans on this. As soon as you put the American guy on, you know, he comes out. Well, you know, I go, oh, no. Uh, give, well, give, give me the one woman on vacation again. Well, what was he blooming <laughs> to him? <laughs> no, no. It was just, it was just like. Bring me the Great. woman on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the lady on the beach, would you? Go back to the Nazi getting a tan. <laughs> I'm sorry, Germany. I know that joke uh, is getting old. I know it's getting oh, old. Oh, God. A couple more months. I promise I'll stop using it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, pr probably a great doctor. It was yeah. just, I don't know, something about, like, when I feel like Germans are involved in something... I'm just like, yeah, that, and then and then when you when you got the American guy come on, I just felt like, oh god, what the, right? You know, it's just it's just uh, I just like to hear an accent behind the vaccine. So, and and and, and, and speaking of the vaccine, yeah, and cures and whatnot, and I sent you an article this morning about the people in Wuhan. Yeah. Are are literally living life like this thing never existed. They've been open since, since like May 10th. No cases. Now, this is where the damn thing originated. Now, if you read the article and look at the pictures, they got pictures, and it was almost like they were rubbing it in out of the article. I got to look to see yeah. what the source is. I, I, no <laughs> guilt. No guilt, you know? Yeah, just, just, it, it was a rave, it was, the whole city was one big rave party, right? <laughs> just rubbing up, no masks in sight, haven't had a case since May, and it's the fifth fucking story in our newspaper? I don't, well, uh, what does that tell you, bro? Listen, we're not one of those kind of shows, I know we don't <laughs> go down that route, but it's hard not to think. They released it in their left hand and cured themselves in their right hand, you know, like, <laughs> let it out, think. Oh, God. Meanwhile, they're all winking at each other, going, look at them drop. Look at them all drop. Mother... Well, people, right? So I was like, how the hell in the in the place that it originated? And I don't know what they did. I mean, they said they quarantined for 76 days, uh, and then they got rid of this thing. I don't know if, like, literally nobody went out of their house right. or, or, or what they did, but, I mean... I'm know. looking at the pictures, and underneath each picture, they're like, they're going to dinner. They're taking selfies with one another. They're at live Man. music venues. And I'm sitting there going, this is where it started? And they wiped it, you know, like, you would think where it started. Right. That the thing, you know, like, uh, for example, what was the thing um, in uh, in Russia? The, right. the, the nuclear... Uh, the, right. the explosion. Right, right, right. What the hell is that called? <laughs> I know what you're talking about, too. The, big, the biggest nuclear explosion in the world. And we're like, who's that called? I know. I almost said Hiroshima. Uh, 
I stopped oh, myself. I, uh, for for example, Hiroshima, right? They're yeah. still feeling the effects of that bomb, right? Right, right, right. You know, like yeah. like I've been to Hiroshima. They're like, you know, it, it's like they took a while to rebuild and 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 the, and this thing, the reactor. You can't even live there anymore because of the radiation. You been and, to Hiroshima? The, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you say it like it's Cleveland, guy. <laughs> what the fuck? I've been to Hiroshima. I don't. I don't even know Chinese or Japanese people that have been to Hiroshima. <laughs> I did a. I did a USO tour, and we went through Hiroshima. Wow, man, you've yeah. been everywhere, bro. Holy. Yeah, we- how did, so how does the uh, you know subway uh, running through the garden bit go over in Hiroshima? <laughs> <laughs> it was for the troop. It was for the troops. Oh, so, troops uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I so, hear you, right? Like, wouldn't there be a little speck of Wuhan floating around still, something, and sparks up and gets bigger again? There, it's unbelievable. That's what I'm saying. I mean, not that I want that to happen, but I'm just no, saying no. I don't understand how, in the place it started, they've completely eradicated it since May 10th, and we're over here in Christmas, and I'm afraid to go to the mailbox without a mask. I mean, come on. Well, I, you know, I told you on one of the casts about how, like, you know, if you jaywalk in China, like, they, you, you're monitored. You're constantly yeah, monitored. Yeah, yeah, you have, yeah. There's a point system, right? So, listen, let's call it like it is. I'm sure they did a 76-day lockdown. You step outside of your house, you get fucking shot, right? So, Drop. so, and, and if you're a homeless person on the street, you get scooped up, put in some. So, like, nobody was out. And then the virus dies within a couple of days. That ain't, you know, in America... Is people are still going to be out, you know? <laughs> well, I know it's, it's different cultures. I I get that, and you know, people go, oh, in New Zealand, they've they've completely got rid of the virus, and they're living their life, they're going out, they're having concerts and then whatnot. And then people go, well, why can't America do that? My point here is not why can't America do anything. It's just. I can't believe they completely got rid of it where they originated it from. And you can't compare, like, this New Zealand to America. And New Zealand's got 4 million people, and everything's spread out, right? Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's, it's like, self-contained. And the way, the way we are over here, it's just, you know, listen, number one, you, you're not going to get rid of this virus with people with staying inside and listening to rules. You can't even get the people to fucking board an airplane correctly, let right. alone— no. l- l- do do any type of protocol when it comes to the, this virus. Agreed. But uh, I don't know. I, I was just like, come on. And I don't even with the vaccine stuff. They asked the guy. So is this going to be? You know, like, are we coming out of this? Is light at the end of the tunnel? And then it's like, well, it's not like an on and off switch. This is more like a dimmer switch, where. You dim you dim the lights low ten percent. You know twenty percent. So. Bro, we're in for another six months of this, okay? Uh, now, we're in for longer than that, I think, because now <clears throat> we got a different guy stepping on the gas pedal come January. And, and, and I feel like that guy's going to be much more like, okay, well, we have faith in you, whereas the guy now is like, yeah, fuck you, demo. All right? I don't want to hear about any demos. Fix it. And that's, you know, I mean, what? I don't understand. You're telling us it's 94% of fact. By the way. When you're a scientist and you get back that it's 94% effective, like, what, what's, what's the 6%? Where's that guy? Let me, let me talk to that guy, right? I want to talk to the guy that fucked up my 100% percentage. You know, you know what I mean? Where is this slug? Why, yeah, why, why aren't we getting the data on the people that screwed up the percentage? I would like to that. hear, I would like to hear it's 94%, but... What we found in the people that uh, the the other six percent is, they had X, Y, and Z, Bro, right? Yeah, and then, then then you could go, I don't got that. I'm good. Right? <laughs> There's a guy named Bill and a girl named Sally. They were both diabetic. I mean, their, their days were numbered anyway. We we just have to legally include them. But you take those two slugs out, it's like ninety nine, <laughs> right? I would, I would you, or is it like it's ninety four percent effective? But the ten most healthy patients of all, yeah, they dropped. They dropped dead. So it's a little <laughs> tough to tell. You know what? I want to know, like, what's the, uh, and then on the flip side, did they tell you in the 60 Minutes interview, because this is good for the viewers, we don't have to go and watch it, did they say, once you take it, 
um, what's your deal? Like, are you immune from getting it again? Or you don't have it, but you can give it to somebody, or you have it, but you won't get sick from it. I'm hearing all sorts of things. No, I think I think what the thing here is is you could get it, be asymptomatic, and give it to people. It's just like, uh, why is well, there all these little 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 like? Isn't there just give me the shot and you're good? That's what I'm fucking saying, bro. All this, you know. Listen, it works except on Tuesdays between three and eight. Stay inside. Stay. I, we don't know why, but it just does not work on Tuesdays, right? It's it's that random. The whole thing. By the way, folks, again, don't take us like you know. We're just you know some people yeah. like we've been getting uh, corrected for our factual errors. This is no facts. <laughs> This is raw feelings. Exactly. That's all this is, okay? Yeah. Nothing's fact-checked. This is something that we're just observing from afar and going, why this, why that, how come, why not? So there's there's no facts here. There's no, I'm not looking up. We don't even have a producer that we could go to and say, could you check and make sure that's right? <laughs> right, this right. Is just, this is just two guys talking like we're on the telephone, <laughs> yeah. right? That's and it. you know, like when you talk to your buddy or you talk to anybody in your family, are you doing fact checks or like sources? My sister does this. She goes, "Where'd you read that? What's what's your source? What's my source? My source. The fucking laptop. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's no source. It's my instinct. It's conversation. <laughs> this is co <laughs> bro. When you have a, when I hang out with people like that, they hit you with that. Actually, it's blah blah blah. In my head, I'm like, actually, you're no longer fucking in my social circle. <laughs> All right, <laughs> because this is all hot air, guy. Hot air, killing time, having fun. That's it. Correcting it me. Correct yeah. me with the facts and the percentages. There's no statistics here. This Nothing. is just two guys talking. Wuhan don't have it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And we do. And we do. And, and right? And how. Uh, is there even a single politician maybe questioning the fact that they're all jumping around over there, dancing, having a good time? Is, is, every, is anyone even looking into that? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, at the very least, wouldn't it, if you were the president, wouldn't you say, Bill, Terry, get on a plane, go to Wuhan, <laughs> let us know what the fuck is going on over there, right? I mean, it's, it's just, isn't there spies on the ground in Wuhan going... Yeah, unbelievable what they did. You know what right. they did? They sprayed every bill. I, I don't know. <laughs> Just tell me. I'm, dude, I'm starting to think that it's in the water in L.A. It's got to be in the water. I mean, Newsom has shut everything down. 40,000 cases a day? It's like, am I the only one who's thinking to think to check the water? I mean, I can't be smarter than the people in charge, bro, and I'm starting <laughs> to think I am, right? It's scary. Holy Oh, my God. Shit. Yeah. We, we are the epicenter of the virus in the entire world. We are doing worse than countries. Right. Los Angeles County is doing worse than Spain. Yeah. You know, Germany, all this stuff. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Is it, is it just blowing around? Like you go out to your car to get the groceries and you, you sniff it. Next thing you know, you're in the <laughs> hospital. <laughs> It's even, I don't even know if it's that, it's simple, it's more simple than that. It's like, people aren't even leaving their houses and they get, by the way, bro, countries aren't even doing better now. Like you said, they're partying. They're partying, <laughs> all right? It's, they, they're not, like, there's a difference. I'm just oh saying, I, I, at the no. very least, though, hasn't somebody called China and been like, hey, man, how are you guys partying over there? What's that about? I, I, I thought we were in this together. That was the slogan when this thing created. We're all in this together. I call Wuhan to see what they're doing. <laughs> they're not even picking up, bro. They, they're they not even picking up. <laughs> by the I way, don't hear yeah. any. I don't. Go ahead, by the way. No, I was going to change ahead. the subject, but I don't want to hear. No, no. I just, I, I just, I, I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, um, um, you know, when they're changing history and they're talking about, uh, this didn't happen that way or, you know, the revolutionary war. All of it. Listen, you know, I, I don't really get too hopped up about it. But the other day I saw something uh, on TV. I don't know if you saw or heard these stories yet. It's very disheartening. The uh, Rat Pack didn't really, Sinatra and all of them, they, they didn't really get along. It wasn't a fun time doing that. Sinatra hated Peter Lawford, Dean Martin always was drinking apple juice. I can't accept that. Uh, 
Frank got mad at Dean because Dean wouldn't do more of his movies, so they were pissed at each other, and that it wasn't like a happy, fun time that they make you think it is. Don't believe it, they're telling me. What's your take on that? Is this one of these things where it's like uh, the cancel culture that uh, they're trying to cancel out the Rat Pack? That's what it sounds like. It was a documentary, yeah, about the Rat Pack. Uh, I can't remember where I saw it, but it was really upsetting. It might have been reading about it. But, I mean, you probably heard about the apple juice thing, right? Yeah, I, I know about the apple juice. A lot of that was an act that he was acting drunk and he wasn't really drunk. And it was, uh, you know, something that he just did. Uh, I knew about the Peter Lawford thing. I don't think, and who am I to say, but uh, based on what I've seen from afar, I it looked like a blast. You can't fake that, man. I mean... Come right? And we know as performers the difference between... We can see it as performers when you see an act. Even young... You ever see a young comedy team and you're like, mm -mm, I give that two years. Then the one guy's going to be famous and the other one's going to be at a deli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then other times you're like, whoa, look at that. They, they're having a good time. They're doing... Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. I don't even know why I brought that up. It's like on top of <laughs> everything else going on in our lives, somebody feels the need to come on and tell me that Frank and Dean weren't uh, like love hanging out. I, I don't need yeah, to hear that shit, on. man. No, we need some good news. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry this is Corona heavy. Yeah, yeah, I'm into it. But they... they they just came out with a thing today that there's like a new strand coming out of England that's more contagious. I go, what more contagious? How, how much more can this contagious be? Uh, right, yeah. what, what, the, what, what the hell's going to happen now? You got to talk to somebody 25 feet away? I, I mean, I think it's getting to the point where it's like, listen, everybody's going to load up. Nobody's leaving their houses for five months. And then we're all going to start over. Whew, man, can you imagine? I don't know. I I I don't know. I I've, I've literally haven't done. The only thing I've done socially is golf. That's it. I went golfing last week with a, with a bunch of guys I didn't know. And uh, I'm going golfing tomorrow. I think with Ray you went Romano. Golfing? Oh wow, with Ray Romano. Fun man. Cool dude. Yeah, he, nice. he's. Uh, I golfed with him once before, and I'm trying to get into this uh, golf club. The guys that I golfed with last week, I know one of them, but then they introduced me to two other guys really fun guys this 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 golf this golf club is like a uh, it's like a fraternity it's like a it's like spring break yeah I, I go to the guy i go i go we were getting rocked right he's bringing out the tequila uh they, they had these tequila drinks these fonsecas they were calling them and i'm uh i'm buzzed the whole three gone dude right? full man <laughs> but yeah. this is a kind this kind of club where you know, I've been to like the hoity-toity clubs. The yeah. the you know the you, you can't really yell or anything. There's no there's no um, it's no fun really. This was like they knew the guys on the other side. Like we're on hole three, but the other guys are on hole sixteen, and we're walking to our ball. And they hey, it's go. Hey, you doing? You got that? Joe Pesci was there. I mean, it was like I, I, talk about Rat Pack. I felt like old Hollywood. It was like an old oh, Hollywood deal. It was so, just like... What's the hold up with becoming a member, man? Like, you know, you, you like they're a, still feeling a, you out? It's like a process. You got to yeah. go hang out with this group. You hang out with that group. And, hey, you, know, you should have to come in. And then, yeah. you know, they vote on it. It's a whole thing. Awesome, so man. You gotta play the, you gotta play the you got to play the game. But it, this, is, uh, this is like where... If you were a golfer, this is where you would join. Yeah, yeah, it this sounds like it. Did you see, uh, speaking of Pesci, a uh, listener sent us, I don't even remember that, when he won for Goodfellas, did you see his Oscar speech? No. He just went up and said something like, thank you. I think he just said thank you. He said one word. I can't remember what the word was, but like, thank you, I appreciate it, something. Or, and, that was, no. and that was it. Yeah, and then he walked off. <laughs> cool. Cool, man. Just cool. That's so that's do it. so uh, that's good that you're getting out doing that because you got to do something. Th that's man. it. That's all. I mean, other than that, I took uh, my kids in the pool yesterday, Lana and uh, and Caruso and Serafina. We all went in the pools. 81 degrees out here, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, and to, after this, I'm taking her again. I'm t I'm sorry, bro. The pool. If you have a pool in your house or you have access to a pool and you got kids under the age of five. 
it is the best thing to do not only for their entertainment but yeah. when they get out of the pool they're tired yeah i know those are the best activities where as you're doing it you're like I'm going to get time on the back end. These two are going to It's just the exact opposite. I took Sadie sleigh riding last week because we got snow now. And every time she's climbing back up the hill going, Dad, Dad. in my head, I'm like, there's another 10 minutes she's going to be sleeping. There's another 10 minutes. <laughs> Run them into the ground, dude, right? <laughs> Sometimes I have my daughter chasing my dog. I'm like, I'm running both of them fucking things into the ground at the same time. <laughs> oh, man. Thank God you got the pool, right? You need something, bro. This oh, is... my God. It's, it's nice. The weather's fantastic. I want to rewind a little bit, and I want to talk about, by the way, I'm off social media, so I'm not seeing a lot of stuff Good. That's, that's, that's that you're talking about, but. Someone made mention to me, I think Lana had saw it, the, the, the pipe you're referring to in the last cast, I think, is yeah. Frosty the Snowman's pipe. I don't think Santa Claus has, has a pipe. <laughs> if, you, if you read, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Yeah. I don't have it in front of me right now, but right down towards the end of the poem, when he's coming down the chimney... And they say, and he came down the chimney all covered in suit, soot, whatever. And then, like, the next line is, like, with his pipe in his hand or something and the smoke billowing ahead. I can, listen, listen. I think I can, let me find it. No? <laughs> no, find it. All right. Find it. I, I, I just, I, I've never seen a Santa Claus walking around with a fucking pipe. <laughs> yeah. I, not anytime, only. Not, anytime I went to go see Santa at the mall, no pipe. Well, you know, listen, they're not going to have Santa puffing on a pipe in the middle of the mall, you know? I mean, but here we go. But uh, where is it? But also, you could see um, there's some really cool photos because someone sent me the same thing as you. They're like, he didn't smoke, blah, blah, blah. And then someone sent me a really cool photo of uh, him with his, uh, here we go, the stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. Boom. Wow. I, 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 I think whoever took Santa and went with it just eliminated the pipe from the whole outfit. But uh, He had a long one, like a long wooden one. Bro, in between houses, sometimes when you're leaving one neighborhood, it's like five minutes to the next neighborhood. You know, Rudolph is leading. You pack the fucking pipe, do a couple <laughs> hits. It's not weed in it. There's not weed in it, you know? So, yeah, we got one. We had to get one delivered on Amazon. All they have around here is weed pipes. Can't even, <laughs> can't even buy a regular <laughs> pipe anymore. <laughs> Everywhere I asked, like, we got all kinds, dude. When I'd call up, that's what they'd say. All kinds, dude. I'm like, no, no, no. I mean, like a wooden one. Oh, yeah, no, we're not one of those. <laughs> what you, no, no, like Santa heads. <laughs> <laughs> but one listener said she did it with her daughter and that her daughter is now in college and my daughter still brings it up as one of her coolest childhood memories. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. it. There you have uh, it. Saw a video of Caruso recently. Bro, this is easy money modeling this kid, man. <laughs> that hairdo. I mean, you could put him in a mini tuxedo. Forget about it, man. <laughs> Is he blow drying his hair already? <laughs> <laughs> it looks blow dried. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it, it, I'm telling you, it's so textured and it's so easy to fix. <clears throat> and and he's doing this thing. I think he found out who his father was within the last three weeks because he's really given me a lot of attention. It'll come up, just kind of tag tag my uh, my pant leg, and just kind of like br like bring me up. So I, I do it, and I, I nice bring up, and nice. he, does this, he does this thing now where he just, he, he lays on my shoulder, and then he lays on the other shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I could sit there all day long and watch him do this, but yeah, he, I, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I think this guy's going to be a lady killer. He's, uh, yeah, yeah, he, I think so. He was, he, he was hanging out with, uh, my daughter's school, they got uh, two or three uh, girls in the school. 
and uh, he's sitting at the table eating, but he just looks like, you know, like he's just he's got his pick of the lips. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Looks like George Clooney just eating with the extras for lunch, right? <laughs> 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 oh man, but yeah, yeah, no, I it's gonna be we got Christmas coming up here on Friday. And uh we were debating on whether or not to get the family together, my sister, her kids, and my mother, just because this thing is so running rapid here in Los Angeles. Yeah. Um yeah. but I think we're gonna do like a gift exchange out, outside in the backyard. And uh, yeah. not gonna, we're not going to eat together or anything like that. It's just going to be here. Here's your gifts. Get in the car oh, and man. go home. Which is like, come on, man. This is this is Christmas. Why don't you all go fly to Wuhan? Get a hotel room. <laughs> you can hug, kiss, do whatever you want, apparently, if you go there. <laughs> By the way, are they not letting us in? That's another thing. Are they not letting us in? Is that another thing? Can you just fly I, I, there and be part of the party? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't let us in. Uh, that's probably why they don't have any cases because they're not letting yeah. anybody they in. They probably shut it down. They probably just shut the whole thing down. Nobody went out and said, This is ridiculous that we that we're not let Yeah, you know, in America you shut it down and then you got the people bitching about, oh, this is uh, you can't you can't shut this down, this, that, and the other thing. Yeah. Huh. Why not? Just shut it down. Right, right. That's it. And even in America when we say, Well, we have dogs, we gotta take our dogs out. Uh, there's no, do they don't have pet dogs in China. That's just a fact. I'm not even being, that's true. Most of them yeah, don't. They, and they, they don't have to leave. I guarantee you they had a rule. If your dog is outside, it will be taken away and destroyed. <laughs> so train your dog to shit in the kitchen for the next 76 days. That, that's how hardcore you have to be about it, man. That's the only way you get rid of the shit. You know? I don't know, man. I don't know. So uh, I wanted to talk about Christmas movies really quick. Oh, good. Yeah, do, we're doing that here, too. Go ahead. Do, you were saying that the other night you were having a movie night uh, and you had to go. I don't know if it was a Christmas one yet, but and I know your kids are a little younger, but I'm asking you, like you and Lana, not necessarily the kids, do you have a Christmas movie in particular or a couple that you like to watch every year just for the holidays and you enjoy it? All right, so let me get into this, and I want to pick your brain on this as well. I grew up watching that Charlie Brown's Christmas, uh, the clay, the clay animation of like Frosty the Snowman and the reindeer. You know, like love uh, those, love when, those. Right when Santa had the red hair and he was young, and his name was Chris Kringle, and yeah, yeah, the oh. older, the older ones. You know, I think the Charlie Brown. Uh, Thanksgiving uh, special and the Christmas special. I think it was 1969 they came out, right? So, and I don't know if you've had this problem with Sadie, but I'd like to share the traditions that I grew up with with my kids, right? Yeah. I put the Charlie Brown Christmas special on, and I'm looking at the animation, and I'm like, this, this looks like shit. <laughs> Com compared to Frozen, where they, 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 you know, they look, they look like they're real life. So it's sad. I'm, it's sad. <laughs> well, we have. I. My daughter was like that. This thing called the the Croods, the Croods. Nick Cage was the voice of the movie, and now they have a series. It's the Caveman Time. Uh, so I figured, oh, you like that? And I popped on the Flintstone. She's like, "What the fuck is this shit?" I, you know, I was like, "Oh God!" I go, "No, no, you gotta listen to the dialogue." Oh God! Oh my God! <laughs> so I'm sitting. You know, I'm trying to get her to watch other movies but once she's like honed in on a movie that she likes she's like let's watch the grinch she likes the grinch right yeah, yeah. grinch stole christmas yeah dr seuss animations unbelievable the colors are unbelievable i mean there's not a point in the movie where you lose any interest there's so much action and activity and this and that and then i said let's watch charlie brown christmas so I'm sitting there watching with her, and in my head I'm going, it's coming any minute. It's coming any minute, right? 
because even I'm like going, all right, guys, let's 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 get this into gear. Like let's. <laughs> Shit. I mean, even the music kind of sucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's slow. Everything is like, you know, everything is slow. Even the way they walk is slow, and they they got three pieces of hair or whatever. Oh, yeah. And then and then. I don't know who a character this is, but the character that comes on and goes, like, it's oh, like right. a. It, is that Linus? It's like, I don't know what it is, but I'm like, and she goes, Daddy, put the Grinch back on. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, are we, what are we watching this shit for? Are you, are you I, watch, I, yeah. I like it because it's kind of like nostalgic for me. Right, right, but and he, I like the route off the red nose reindeer, the clay, uh, you know, the walking through the snow and the snow looks real. And he's got his big red nose, right, and then the frosty and all that stuff. I don't know. That was like what I grew up on, but it is it, it pales in comparison to the technology today and the animation. It's just like they, you can't compete. Yeah, I know, I know. I used to love that. All the same ones, and especially because the new Grinch, you're talking probably the animated one with the little green guy. Oh, yeah, that's oh. like, I mean, adults could watch that without the kid around. That shit's so good. <laughs> I'm with you. But <laughs> but this is interesting, man. This will blow your mind. Uh, Thanksgiving, we're hanging out, and I said, Sadie, you got to try this movie. We're going to watch a movie together. I go, if you don't like it, I'll change it, but you got to check it out. So I put on March of the Wooden Soldiers, right, with, with Laurel and Hardy. Remember that? Never saw it. It's also called Babes in Toyland. Do you know what I'm talking about? Never saw it. <laughs> Bro, this is up there with you, who, man. This is bothering me. You don't know March of the Wooden Soldiers? Do you even know what I'm talking about? With Laurel and Hardy and, oh, my. It's a, it's a holiday classic, dude. It was yeah, made in, like, it. 1931 or something. Anyway, I could I can't believe it. But I put this on <clears throat> and I was like, there's no way this kid's gonna like this. It was made in 1930. They made it color now, but still. But dude, humor is humor. And Laurel and Hardy, you know them, the fat guy and the skinny yeah. guy, you know, they she was dying. Loved it. One of her favorite movies has already watched it two more times. And I used to think, oh, stand up and what we do. I'm like, well, you know, you die. What do you care anymore? You're dead, da da da. But man, if there is a heaven and you can go up there and those two guys are up there and I'm like, dude, you guys are not going to believe this, but they're fucking still laughing at your shit over a hundred, almost a hundred years later. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's when you know you got a good act. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Travels well. Well, I say he's laughing. I pause the movie and I go, Sadie, this movie was made before your grandfathers were alive. She was like, what? I'm like, holy shit. You know? So well, you bring up a good point in the regards to like showing your kids movies that you grew up on. Uh, and I don't know when you introduce Rocky. Nah, you bro. You don't want to introduce that too soon because if your daughter or son turns away or is disinterested, I mean, it's it's going to break your heart. It's going to it's it may as well be like finding out that it, you're not the real dad. <laughs> that's, that's how I feel. If my daughter said, I don't like Rocky, I'd be like, well, it's time for a blood test. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I feel, I feel if the kid goes, shut, shut this off. Oh, I, I, I don't like if me and Caruso sit down and watch Rocky and he goes, dad, put the Grinch back on. I'm going to go. I don't know if you could live here anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a hard, it's going to be hard. By the way, though, if your kid's still watching The Grinch, it's not time to put Stallone <laughs> eating raw eggs in front of him. No, I know, I know, but listen. Uh, but when the day comes, you're saying. When the day comes, and I'm just trying to figure out when to introduce that. I mean, like, it's such a, a, a bullet in the chamber that you want to just, like, here, this is cinema. And I, I just don't know. But you got a girl, so I it's mean, the son, really. More of it's, it's like a, it's like hunting. You know what I mean? You're yeah, like, yeah. I guess you're right. I mean, is, the, is, I, there, well, a, is there a, is there a, a possibility that you put it on and just let your son do one of those things where he, 
just peeks her head in, ends up ends up slowly coming down, just sitting down. What's this, Dad? And you're like, yeah, there's my boy. Maybe maybe that's the way to do it. Maybe you don't force it on them. I just think once you hear the the bell, the ding, you know, that's the, the song. I think that would just attract like animals from the neighborhood. It just if you if you had that blasting throughout the house, just the. I mean, come on. I was six I'm, when I saw it. I was six. I remember going with my dad. Do you remember how old you were when you saw it? I had to be around that age, too. I might, I might have been about eight. I might have been about eight. Now, now, the thing is, you go too young, though. The first, thir- what, 20, 30 minutes... It's like a real adult movie, you know? If you're too young, you might not be into all that. You know, uh, jogging on the ice with Adrian. I mean, if you get them too young, they're like, what is this boring shit? <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, is there a Rocky equivalent to a girl? Like, what's the girl's Rocky? Is there a movie that... Moms go, I can't wait till my daughter's da, 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 so she could watch Thelma and Louise or like what's what's the Rocky equivalent? Uh Dirty Dancing, man. <laughs> right? That's the one with Swayze. Dirty Dancing is is the female equivalent uh, to Rocky? Yeah, absolutely. The one where they go to the camp, the summer camp, the one you haven't seen. Yeah. Am I saying right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Every, come on, you talk to women, it's like a bonding. They have the popcorn. That's that's what I been few women I know. I know that's what I've uh, been experiencing. But yeah, I, that I they, Thelma yeah, and Louise they, could be a good one. Although the women drive off the fucking cliff, guy. I've never seen the movie. I neither have I. I just know that happens. <laughs> 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 well, well, isn't isn't Thelma, isn't Thelma and Louise uh, Pitt's debut? Yes, yes, it is. From what I'm, yeah, and I, yeah. I haven't seen I, that either. But you know, I think it was like a. Apparently, it was like a sex symbol thing, you know, like uh, he was yeah. the hot guy or something. So yeah, I, yeah, I, th- I think I think it's worth uh, seeing just for the 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 pit the pit debut. Um, okay, I want to pick your I want to pick your brain on something. Sending out Christmas gifts, right? Yeah. So I'm sending out gifts, but the I can't tell you what gift it is, but I did four or five of these for different people. Right. Sa- same gift, but for five different people. On the website, there's not an option for gift wrapping and or who it comes from. Now, if I got a gift coming to somebody's house and they don't know who it's from what's the etiquette on that do you email and go i got a gift coming for you and it's not wrapped and it doesn't say who it's from but that's mine how do you how do you do this i I think that's got to be your best route man i mean you know otherwise you just let them do you let them open it without any instruction and have them go, did you send me that? Wow. Like, to, to, compared that, to the other gifts I got, if if you did that with me, I would open it. And, and we, there's like three people that get us gifts on that level. So I'd call you and two other people, one of them being your own mother-in-law. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Jackie's friend from Rochester. Other than that, you know, if it's not one of you three, then it's an accidental delivery. And I stop even fucking checking. <laughs> Yeah. So you could go that route knowing you. You could probably just sit back and go down now because they because they ain't getting shit like that from anyone else. Nah, this is one of these gifts where it could come. It's not so out of the box where you would go, oh, he sent me this. But it's also very unique to the people that are getting it. Yeah. Well, then you should probably uh, just send that out, man. Yeah. By the way, dude. You know, I, I don't ever expect any kind of generous gift. I, a goddamn $50, you know, anything. So, you know, don't think when I joke around about this stuff about you sending good gifts that, like, all of a sudden I'm like, Pete expects something big or fun. 
Although my uh, gift is not being like hugely anything expensive, but my gift is appropriate with the cast and all. Yeah. So w- when do you want me opening the gift? Christmas or? Uh, yeah, man. Open it on Christmas, dude. And then we'll talk about the next cast after that. Is this coming out, by the way, before Christmas? Normally it would be the day after, but we could try to get a rush job from DJ Hank and the uh, boys, and boys over at IR. Huh. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to come out on that. Uh, When's for Friday, Thursday? Yeah, it's cutting it close. Wait, isn't isn't Christmas Saturday? It's uh, Friday. Oh, Friday. Yeah, that is coming. It's, huh, it's only yeah, day early. Yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday. Um, um, I just have to go on record, too, and say uh, of the movies, It's a Wonderful Life. That shit sucks. Oh. I stay away from that. You, you oh, like love that? It. Oh, love it. Bro, when, when he's... You know the part where he's Mary and he's telling her how much he loves her and he's like, you're my gal. You understand? You're mine. You'll always be mine. And and, and he's like breaking. I'm like, bro, you're, you're assaulting her. You're literally assaulting her. You're shaking her and shit. Get the... F- that guy, man, I, I, I did not like that movie at all. He was so okay. angry and pissed off because he had to run the bank. It's like, give me a break, guy. I don't know. That was one of those nostalgic movies that was always on. Miracle on 34th Street. It's another one I love. You ever see that? Uh, yes. I, I we, we got that one taping now, the new version with Dylan, <laughs> Dylan McDermott or they remember any one of those Richard Attenborough. Mine is every year Family Man, Nick Cage, Tia Leone. You ever see that? No. Oh, it's just so great, dude. A Christmas it's, movie? Yes. Yeah, it's like a... Loosely based on Scrooge, on um, you know Christmas Carol, like you wake up and see your alternative life. It's so great, man. Every year I watch it, touches my heart. Oh, um, I have to put that in. Oh, well, by the way, what's the difference between the Grinch and the Scro- and Scrooge? They're the same guy. The Gr- no Scrooge is the old man, Ebenezer Scrooge, who's visited uh, by the three yeah. ghosts. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And the Grinch okay. is the green guy where they come down. And- yeah, I know, but the same concept, right? Just they, 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 they're, they're angry. They don't like yeah. shit. They don't like Christmas. Yeah, they don't like Christmas. But so uh, do, you, do, you, do you think the one stole from the other? Who, who was first? Well, By the way, Scrooge, Scrooge is first. Yeah. Does, does every storybook, when you're a child, have to rhyme? When the hell did they start doing that? Like, every book I read, Serafina. Yeah. Is a, a rhyme, right? But I then I start reading. It. I'll start reading a book, and I think it. You ever think it's going to be a rhyme, and then you get to the rhyme part, you're like, no rhyme. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I know. I like the rhyme. I'm disappointed when it's not a rhyme. You know, you lose my interest. The other thing I hate when I'm reading the children's books is when a character says something, and then they go, "said the te- said the bear," and I'm like, bro, say the bear said. So as the reader, I can now go into my bear voice, <laughs> right? Well, you tell me the bear said that. I didn't know the bear was saying that, so I didn't say it in the bear voice. It drives me nuts, man. I know, man. No, you, you got to lead the adult reader into the character. And you know what? I got to tell you this, and, and maybe I'm off, but I would have to say 85% of the dads don't get into character. I not only get into character, I do act outs. <laughs> what do you mean? Physically, you stop moving along with it as well? Oh wow! And yet, I mean, I'll, I'll get up. And I'll, you know, I, I'll I'll do you know, out, of, out of the bed because normally I, I read the book in bed, and if the bear, you know, like, I can't do a bear laying down. Yeah. By the way, by wow, the way, you're, you're of, giving a play. You're doing a whole play. Teleplay, bro. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I've mastered. Yeah. I've mastered, and this is because I'm forty. What am I? Forty-seven. Am I 47? Late 40s. Yeah. Either way. No big deal. Yeah. So I've mastered what I like to call lay and play. <laughs> What's that? I lay down and I play with the kids while I lay down and I kind of orchestrate games around me laying down. So I, there's not a lot of movement involved. <laughs> But they don't they don't realize it. They just think dad's the coolest he's hanging out with us. But they don't yeah. realize, wait a second, this guy is barely moving at all. <laughs> it's oh. called lay and play, bro. It's, you, you got, 
Take it. Especially if you got little kids, one and a half and three and a half. Man, God, man, they'll, they'll drive you into the. Talk about driving into the ground. They'll drive you into the ground. I I, I so, couldn't imagine two at once. I mean, it's got to be insane. It's got to be. Oh. Uh, well, Caruso's walking around now like, you know, we, we lost him the other day. We, I went, I literally went in my office to get something. I came back out, gone, vanished, right? Yeah. And then, uh, and Lana's like, y do you ever screw up where, where like Lana wasn't, she wasn't there and she goes, where's Caruso? And then he, I'm like, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so I, I'm running around the house screaming his name. Yeah, <laughs> and this kid's up. He's he's six stair. He's six stairs up, going walking up the stairs. And I'm like, holy shit! That's all I need. Yeah, man. That's yeah. He's ready to go. He's ready it's, to go, man. He is ready and willing. So yeah, it's uh, it's just been another week, man. I'm looking at my notes here to see if I got any other. Outstanding business. No, I, I yeah, I I didn't come with much, with except the enthusiasm to be here. So <laughs> everybody's got to uh, have a good Christmas, man. Do what you can. Try to have fun. Keep your chin up. Any other stuff, brother? I uh, no, I got nothing. Just want to tell everybody out there, you're probably going to be listening to this the day after Christmas. This is what I don't like about Christmas, yeah. primarily. Is you take the two weeks off, right? And I'm normally chomping at the bit by the end of the break to get back to work. This is you're taking two weeks off. First of all, off, on, off, whatever. I I, I basically been on this whole time. I know. There's no taking time off. I love the people. Oh, I got two weeks off. I got two weeks off. I've been work. I've been working since this thing shut down March 20. What uh, March 13th uh, to uh, to see where I could make extra scra extra. Scratch. I'm trying. <laughs> I just did a corporate gig last week for uh, for a law firm, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you with this. Yeah, Do yeah, you yeah. you ever on a Zoom where people are drunk? Not that I no. I not that I could tell. Like no. All right. Well, the the Zoom when people are drunk is. You start getting because a lot of, a lot of these people were drinking, and you start getting this. Hey guys, I love you. You know, like you, there's, a, there's a lot of there's there's a lot of closeness to the. You know, they'll come right up and go. Hey, it's like if I could see your molars on a Zoom, I think you got to back away from the camera. Right, right, right. Holy shit, man! Oh, and what are you man. doing that moment? You just let them do what they're doing with each other, and yeah, it's like I, this. This drinking on Zoom now is a big thing because a lot of these holiday parties that I've been doing, they're all getting rocked on the Zoom call, and I'm I'm doing the entertainment, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But. Uh, I'm sitting there, and it, it it works. I mean, it works, but it's just sitting. I'm looking at this like, can you believe this? I'm looking at some guy who works for this company, and he's in Seattle, and I'm looking at him in his living room. I know, doing, I know. Do doing jokes. I'm doing jokes. There was, there was a couple in bed. There was a couple laying in bed watching the show, and I'm like, you want to move to the couch? <laughs> how comfortable oh you gonna? How comfortable you gonna get? Uh, in weird. bed that's like that's bizarre that's like that's insane man i mean and you got to just kind of pretend that it's just all normal and kind of stick to the i mean i did one zoom call i was telling you about it with a, a a company and they were real cool all about it but one guy was in his kitchen and he was he had the phone on the island and he was stirring something in his saucepan he was cooking and i'm like I, it's hard enough as a comic. You don't like what people are eating when you're performing. I go, now this guy's cooking. While <laughs> and then they all laugh. And then he wants to say something, but I'm on mute. So we got to wait till he goes around the island and presses the unmute and goes, it's a fetish sheety. <laughs> like, I needed to know. What, what, uh, you know? <laughs> So, and this is what we've become, bro. I mean, oh. remember when you were kids and you watch a movie where the guy would come out and perform for the king and he had the bells on his feet and he was juggling and you were, like, embarrassed for him? We're going back. <laughs> we're going back to that, man. <laughs> oh, my 
my god! It's like now you now entertainers are coming right into your living room. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, back in the day in 1980s, can you go imagine like, oh, fucking Van Halen, we're gonna turn on our 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 computer and Eddie Van Halen's gonna be in his living room doing yeah. a guitar solo for a company <laughs> while people. <laughs> crazy <laughs> crazy times man so what are we gonna do all right man well uh have a w great christmas if i don't talk to you uh i wish everybody that listens to the pete and sebastian show thank you for getting us through the pandemic um we've been doing this now for nine straight months and uh for pete and i it's a pleasure to get on these uh on these podcasts it's just kind of breaks up the monotony today we have a few laughs yeah hope you guys are enjoying it as well uh and we'll see you next week we're not taking any time off a lot of podcasts take the holidays off we're burning right no, through this no. stuff let's do it baby let's do it man all right all right take care later bro <laughs> <laughs>